Turn me up! Yeah, St. Augustine football is pretty much the energy pusher. students, the band members, everybody's involved. Richard with the interception. So you know, it's a big history. Lena Fernand, Tyron Matthews, the same kids walking these halls. that goes here is an ambassador of St. Augustine High School. Probably less than three schools in the country that are all black, all male, and Catholic identity. We stand as the oldest. At the top of the pillars, you see men of honor, you see loyalty, you see courage, you see black excellence. Definitely, we hang the hat on the accomplishments of the alums. We have male judges, corporate executives, those who are in Fortune 500. Here we have some of the early days of what's considered as the golden era of St. Augustine football, their most dominant era. Yeah, St. Augustine football is pretty much the energy pusher. These guys, they are ambassadors to the school. We have a purple knight right here. This guy is quarterback for Notre Dame Fighting Irish. So that'll give me everything, man. It's the foundation. And it's just the guys here, the guys in the locker room that I call every day to this day. When a football team does well, the culture, it feels different. First of all, we got the best band in the country. And anytime St. Ock touches the field, football-wise, it's going to be a show. I just keep the cameras rolling. Every last one of you all have Division One and or NFL aspirations. That's been the narrative of St. Ock since 1951. Look at all of the men we done put in the NFL, 43 of them. We're doing something right. St. Ock is a big history. Leonard Fernand, Tyron Matthews, the same kids walking in the halls. You never know who you may sit in the class with. Man, good luck to y'all, Lil. Yeah. All right. When you put on that purple and gold, this place is your home forever. Josh Jackson, class of 2024, wide receiver. Same like my 10th grade year I came here. I saw energy, brotherhood, everybody was just having fun, and that's what I wanted to be a part of. I love it, it's just New Orleans, like playing football here and knowing this is where I'm from. I feel like it's one of the best places to be. Something on my back, you better score. Every day just coming out, grinding. That's really all it's about. 10 touchdowns, let's make that better right now. Receiver, it just came easy, because I always could catch. Oh, I'm up with it. Oh, get oh, oh, oh. Making the DB look stupid, that's really the best part. Yeah, Great catch, good pay, good finish. Yeah, every day is iron shuffle iron. Today I feel like we got him, though. Oh, we finished five. Oh. The touchdowns you had this day? Hey, listen up, listen up. It's been a rocky season, been a different season. Let's talk about what we're getting into Saturday, right? We played John Kerr's, and I just feel like this week of practice was one of our best weeks. So when we come out Saturday, we know nobody can stop us. First off, senior night. You don't want to remember your senior night when you took an L or you got your ass with. You want to go out on a high note. Now the next level, get this victory for your program. But trust me, they playing for JC. When y'all gonna play for Santa Augusta? Go for now, you go first. It's always big on seeing like to hear what we have to say. By the time I seen all, all I ever did was pay for the team. I want y'all to do me a favor and just pay for us. Every time we had a good team, we just didn't come all the way through with it. It's important because this is my last year. Whatever they have to say, I could feed off of it, they could feed off of me, and we could just play for each other. Yeah, my brothers for real. I love you. We're ready to play, win, have a great senior night. I'm a cornerback for St. Augustine High School, number 13. I was born and raised in Texas, moved to St. Louis, and then I moved to New Orleans. Before coming down here, I didn't even know what a parade was or Mardi Gras. But then being in New Orleans for three years now, I've grown to love it just that much more. Football is definitely in their culture, nature, everything. It's definitely gonna stay rooted in New Orleans for my family and my brother and my sister. I just watch as they thrive. What's up over time? We're here at DBT. I just wanted to show you guys where I get my extra work in and grind every day. As soon as I touched down in New Orleans, I wanted to find a place where I could train and hone my skills, and this was a place for me. I get all my uh, pump going right here. Jumped my first 38 inch vertical right here. Bunnies. <laughs> I immediately posted that to my Twitter. Where the true grind happens right here. Footwork drills, getting in and out of my back pedals, my bricks. When I first started cornerback, I was back pedal like this. Like it was terrible. Now my feet level with my shoulders. I'm down at a good level, way more fluid. I like to focus on my work and really hone in on my skills. That just helps me become a better player overall. 
to catch you at the next spot. At St. Augustine, our band is a major piece of what made our football team successful. One and two and Chicago and play the music part is such an integral part of the football game. To see the band and the football team work together, that's the success that has been our school. I feel like we have a love-hate relationship. We'll joke with him and say if we was on the field, everything would be totally different. It starts off with the football team. Every time they lose, they like blame us for not playing the right songs. <laughs> Y'all know that saying, oh, you try out for the band. And if you don't make the band, you play football. <laughs> But at the end of the day, we're going to show up and support them no matter what. Music is like really part of our culture, so we bring the vibes to the city. Kids grow up and they come in and they live part of the legacy. Dude, if you cannot keep the tempo, you will be in the stands on Saturday. Simple as that. While the football team was running the field, y'all were running the street. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Taking over and letting the city know what it truly means to be a part of St. Augustine. The ACC game on Saturday. Here in Louisiana, they live, breathe. Football. One thing I can say for sure is that St. Augustine is an institution here in New Orleans. Definitely a stable. Yeah, it, it's a lot of love for the school, a lot of pride. You get so much like poured into the program from fans, coaches, students, the band members, everybody's involved. You know, as a spectator and parent, you know, we have a lot of fun. Every week, I would say there's a rival game. We're playing John Curtis this Saturday, and it's, this is an important game for us because we have to beat these people if we want a shot at the playoffs. Kind of an emotional game as well. This being his senior year, it's going to be a uh, a really surreal moment. We've watched him you know, as a toddler and growing up and really embracing and loving his sport, investing a lot of time and energy into it, seeing that pay off is a culmination of all those things. The biggest thing that I've learned from St. Aug is how important legacy is, what the people behind you have done and what you're doing right now. There's always eyes on you, whether that be your little brother, another younger kid going to the school, you have a big impact and whether you know it or not. Maybe, come, come on, man. And we're just excited for him. There's a lot of cool stuff happening right now in his life, and he's developed into a pretty strapping young man. We are on the way to pick up a meeting. He just flew in from Paris, France. We're housing him for a week and a half, and I've always wanted to house a foreign exchange student. I've been trying to learn a little bit of French or Duolingo just to communicate with him, make him feel at home. Le garçon. Le garçon. That means the Le boy. Yeah. Oh, got it wrong. There you go. We ready to go see me. I just want to show him like the high school experience, you know, jocks or football players. Like, we're cool, man. We're not bullies, none of that. We're great people. We're cool to be around. Yeah. I'm also excited to show them around New Orleans and give them a sense of what it is to be a teen in America. And then we get to go to France too, so just a great opportunity overall. <laughs> the last year, I see it. Saint Augustine football match. You like? Yeah. <laughs> you know a word in French? I know bonjour, I know. Ah, from my boy. Oh, yeah! Making new friends. Just Great. Bro, you know you dropped that thing, you done. <laughs> but life, bro. I was long with it. <laughs> Let's go eat though. You got pasta. Yeah. That's my favorite. I don't think any other school has a family like we have. We got guys from everywhere around the city. It's like a real brotherhood. So I got Chris with me, DB. I got Dawson Simmons, QB1. I got Mike Malone, cornerback, class of 2024. Oh my God. We got Sauté Shrimp. Graham's made this one. This is my favorite one that she makes. Graham, you put your foot in this one. She ain't show no love, though. I got two shrimps. <laughs> <laughs> they joke all day, but when it's time to be serious, they'll lock us in. I'm talking about shrimp. I'm what trying to see what you gonna do tomorrow. John Curtis? We're gonna get them this week. We had the game last year. It was like 21 0. We were all focused up, so I feel like Saturday we should come out with the dub. Come on, bro, you gonna take all that? See you night. What we thinking about? I don't know, bro. It just don't feel real. I don't think it's gonna hit me till we actually yeah, go. Yeah, huh? yeah. Yeah, it's always big on seeing like all the alumni come back. Then they got the band loud in the background, so it's really just crazy all around. I seen you night with the band too, though, so. The band nice, though. They play a big part. During the game, we need like a big play on third down. We'll tell like the band, play a song or something, and then we'll get to stop. So when we all come together, it could just form something real special. Really white, though, as you can see. So that's it. That's our meal. Everything we do before a game, shout out overtime. I'm committed to Tulane right now, so I don't want to leave my guys, but I'm excited for whatever comes from me in the future. Knowing I got brothers for life, that's always a good thing.
Heavenly Father, thank us for having this day today. Help us go out there and play hard. Help us finish this game off strong and finish the rest of the season off strong so that we make it to playoffs. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Every pregame, whether it be Saturday, Thursday, the whole family, make sure we get fair good. Chicken sausage, jumping lines, string beans, and toast, provided by us. One of our alumni, yeah. Mr. Jamon Barrow, class of 91. He does all the um, pregame meals so, every week. For years, they've been feeding us Leno from that, Tyron Matthew, Trey Turner. Me and NFL, all of them have relationships with the whole program. Once you finish eating, put your chair back underneath the table, pick up your trash. After a five game losing streak, we basically got our back to the walls, and I feel like I don't come out responding this way today. The thing I love about football, dog, especially in high school, on this level, you get 10 games. Right? So if you f***ed up this week, today you got another day to prove yourself. Coach, you not tough enough. Coach, you don't want it enough. I'm not tired of hearing that shit. Prove you're a better team than 2 and 5 right now. Y'all better than this. If you spell something like, do your job. We lost five games straight, but we just got to lean on each other because at the end of the day, that's all we got. We just pretty much have our night walk, lower the buses, head to the field. This game is about a state, and not only the John Curtis, but to the state. Hey, Today is your senior night. Y'all been over here three plus years. Now, for one second, have you stopped me? Yeah. 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 I just walk, normal walk. Huh? <laughs> I'm a cry. <laughs> we went today for a reason. All right, the reason we're gonna play together. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Let's come out and win today, man. Hey, the goal is one of those. You gotta take it, bro. You can't see me, John Cena, huh? Huh? Should be a dogfight tonight between these New Orleans rivals as John Curtis Christian takes on the St. Augustine Purple Knights. We're looking to end a five game losing skid and keep their postseason hopes alive. the gut and that's Shaquem Stewart getting into the backfield. And it's picked off. Christian Pritchard with the interception for St. Augustine. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Spectacular touchdown to Joshua Jackson as the Purple Knights up six to nothing. That'll do it for the first quarter, and it's been all St. Augustine thus far. Make sure we take this one on the back end. I'm going to try some generation. Make sure we stay alert. Make sure we're doing this game. Costa Gabriel gets to the outside, shakes a tackler, shakes another, and he's in for the touchdown. A big answer from John Curtis to start the second quarter. Goes to the house. John Curtis has all the momentum right now. So they got 16 in the game. about to Settle down. We're good. You can really feel St. Augustine struggling to get anything going on offense right now. Yeah, man, get that, bro. Becoming an issue for the Purple Knights on defense, and John Curtis is taking advantage. Good, bro. Look, pick that head up, bro. We gotta go score right here. Let's do this shit. Come on. Just a two possession game. John Curtis leads 29 14 going into half. Hey, fellas, let's up real quick, alright? The word this week is relief. You're still in this game! Fellas, pick your head up, I promise you. You just two scores out. You gotta fight here. Alright, we've been telling y'all all year, you have to fight. But right now, if you want your season to keep going, right? If you wanna find something outside yourself, make sure we some coverage here. 
Come on, this fight. Show me some origin. Go out there and fight. Let's go, Purple! The music is really better than the friends. John Curtis scores on the opening drive at the second half. They lead 36 to 14. Whoa, 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 whoa. And if St. Augustine has any fight left, it's gotta come now. Give me open love two bubble two. Open love two bubble two. And a big answer from the Purple Knights that show some signs of life. Get the ball! Come on! Keep the going to make a stop, go score again. One, two, three! Five, St. Augustine trying desperately to mount a comeback, but time is just not on their side. Well, I mean, obviously it was a tough one. The kids played hard, or you win some, you lose some, and always work out in your favor, but that's part of being a St. Augustine Purple Knight. We're proud of them. Even in losses, we're proud of them. Good game, good game, good game. Good game. Oh, All right, so listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. Everybody hate losing. It's a sad feeling. And that shit hurt. And that shit hard. But I keep telling y'all, the only way you get out of it is together. In situations like this, you gotta keep fighting. I'm not quitting, y'all not quitting. We in this mother together. But rally from behind each other, man, all right? Lift each other up. I promise you, we're gonna be fine, though. It's gonna take belief, trust, and love. Put your head together, figure this out, we gotta believe. Everybody got me? Let's go. Let's go ahead, pray it on. St. Joseph, St. Augustine. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. I appreciate you watching that video, but before you dip, do me a little favor. Go hit the OT shop and check out some of the new drops. They're all bangers. It's going to be hard to pick a favorite, but I promise it'll be worth it when you do.